This is uh, Bishop with the uh, Creus and Bishop Show, uh, doing hooligans backstage here, uh, joined by uh, Tech Nine. Tech, how you doing? I'm wonderful, and you? Great, man. It's great, man. And uh, you know, we're back here, and uh, it's going to be a huge show. And I don't know if you you know, but I think it's uh, pretty much already sold out. Uh, have you guys been uh, seeing a lot of sold out shows the uh, the whole tour so far? Totally, and that's a blessing, man. You know what I mean? I was just telling um, uh, a lady friend the other day that it's just mostly been sold out shows and like big crowds, man. And it's just so wonderful because I think this is the first time I've ever been here, so that's a warm welcome. And I see like one of my guys down by the uh, swamp right here, whatever this is, with earphones on. They said they were feeding alligators earlier, so I hope he's going to be okay. Yeah, that's, a, that's one thing uh, I'm glad someone told him because I was just about to say there's alligators back there in that little uh, stream or swamp. Like, that would be horrible if you got attacked by an alligator. And then the next thing you know, you're down one guy. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look, who is this down with the uh, beach by Dre? By, by the, he just said there's alligators down there. You can get attacked by them down there. Is that Dre? Is that the Dre dude? With the beast by Dre on? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I just see just the back of his head. Oh, man, that's stupid. They right on, they right on. Well, go ahead. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> no, it's all good, man. So you can get attacked down there, man. Yeah, this is our first time here, so hopefully <laughs> we won't suffer an attack. So the, the hostile takeover tour, you're doing 90 shows in 99 days. I mean, that's, that's an insane rate of shows that, that you're doing. You think that's insane? It hasn't been 90 shows in 99 days since we started. It was 96 shows in 103 days, 104 days. You know what I mean? So we're on show 84 out of 96. Oh my! That that, that is like I, I was reading some uh, about you, of course, and the road. And and one thing that I think uh, one of the many things that sets you apart from a lot of artists today is how how devoted you are to to being on the road. I think a lot of artists today don't understand the value and what it what it means to be on the road as much. You know, they don't, man. And that's how you gain fans, man. If you're trying to be the hip hop president, you got to get out there and politic. How do we do this in hip hop? We get on the road, not just going to places where people know you and where you know it's going to be good. You got to go and build. You know what I'm saying? For seven people, you do it like it's 7,000, and you come back and it'll be double, then triple, then quadruple. You know what I mean? That's how we built this thing right now. Now, uh, on to the fans. Like, you, you make yourself so accessible to the fans. You know, like, uh, later on today, you're doing a VIP experience, and I, I've seen before that uh, with the other VIP experience. Like, and once again, that's another thing that I think that sets you apart from the other artists is because a lot of artists want to be away from their fans. They don't, it, you know, it's not like a, it seems more like a family mentality that you have with your fans, you know? I think, I think it's, uh, I think it's wonderful. I have to have some kind of normalcy, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it'll drive me crazy. But I'm lonely on this bus in the back by myself at night. You know what I mean? It's like, I need normalcy, man. I need to be able to touch people. You know what I mean? Like, shake their hands and hear their stories, man. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what the fans want to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think it's needed, for me at least. You know what I'm saying? I need that normalcy, man. And I... Uh, I think more people should do it because people actually spend their hard-earned money to come see us, and all they want to do is say what they want to say, whether it be negative, whether it be positive. You know what I'm saying? Tech, I think you shouldn't have did a song with so-and-so, but I love you anyway. Or, Tech, you got me through the war. Man, I was out there, and Riot Maker got me through. Suicide Letters got me through. Thank you for showing me a God, Tech, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Or girls just say... I, I'm married, but I would love to have sex with you. You know what I'm saying? Any kind of positive energy <laughs> is a wonderful thing, man, and I need that. i seen on DMX's next uh, upcoming album, you're doing some work now. Have you already done work with DMX, or is that still, you know, in the works, or what's going on? Oh, no, no, no. I haven't worked with them yet, but um, they called for me, and I'm ready whenever they say go. You know what I mean? Because I toured with them for a bit, and he's a cool cat, a real cat. You know what I'm saying? Well, I won't say real because real everybody has their own uh, idea of what real is. I say he's a right cat. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people won't say that because he's been in trouble, but... He's right in his spirit to me when I looked at him and when I prayed with him every night. You know what I mean? So, you know, people who might know him a little bit better might say he's real. But what I've seen, he's right. You know what I'm saying? So that's, I can't wait to do that. Uh, I talk about, you know, praying every night. Like, 
religion uh, seems to be, uh, I don't, don't want to say a huge thing with you, uh, but it's, it seems to be an important thing uh, with you. Where did that start? My parents, you know, um, my grandmother, my aunties, my mom, my uncles, most of them are ministers, you know what I mean? I grew up in the church, man, Christian, you know what I mean? And uh, that's where all the religiousness comes from, you know, from my family. And I'm glad they showed me how to love, you know what I mean? They, they showed me how to have a heart. And I got that, a lot of it. And I give it to my fans, I open up to them, and they give it right back to me, and it's a beautiful feeling. What, what you just said, I didn't know about your your family being ministers, that, but that makes sense with the how personable you are with your fans and everything like that. Now that seems to come full circle yeah. that you grew up, you know, in a in a environment like that. Yeah. Now, getting back real quick about how important the fans are, I seen that you're rescheduling, and this is another thing that most artists don't do as well. You're rescheduling a date that you had no control of because what happened? Uh, uh, someone run into a light pole or something? In Sarville, New Jersey. I was getting painted. One side of my face was painted. Scenario was painting my face, you know. And he gets a call on his radio like, all the power's out. It just went out, he said. But he said, the front of the house went out. But then it came back that everything went out because some drunk driver leaving the show maybe hit the light pole on the corner and knocked out all the power in the area. Hmm. Was there nothing I could do. There was no mics. No power to run right. the music or the lights or anything. Right. They had only thing, only lights were on. I think were the ones that come on when there's a problem. You the know emergency what I mean? lights. Yeah, emergency lights. Yeah. And um, scenario gave me a megaphone, and I went out there and I did a couple verses, and they wrapped them with me. The megaphone was really heavy. I didn't know I could hold it a different way. It was really heavy, and I'm, uh, you know, doing. I did a verse. I did a, the chorus to Stress Relief. I did my Midwest Chopper. I mean, no, no, no Worldwide Choppers verse. I did um, my verse to Who Do I Catch, the first verse, and I forgot what else I did. But I did it for them, and I told them that I will come back and make up the date and the date is final i think i think it's july 12th mm -hmm. or something like that we're gonna fly there and we're gonna redo that date it won't have all the you know everybody all the 100 people that i have on tour with me but it'll be my show that they missed and i will repay them for what they paid for you know what i mean my fans i love them and after that after i got them out of there safe because the owner was afraid that there would be a riot but I told them, if you guys fight, they won't have me back. So I'll be out here drinking KCTs if y'all want to talk to me. And I came out and I signed everybody's autograph who came up to my bus. Once again, that just shows like how how much of a different artist that you are. And, and talking about all the people that you have on the show, there is a ton of artists on the show tonight. Like, that's just crazy to me. Like, a, a lot of times with, uh, not, not trying to like bit, pigeonhole you, but a lot of times with hip-hop artists, mm -hmm. it's normally just the people that are in their group or in their, you know, their clique, so to say, that they mm -hmm. that they want to bring on tour with them. Uh, but you have Machine Gun Kelly, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he's he's signed with uh, Bad Boy, correct? Bad Boy. All day. He's signed with Bad Boy, but he's an up-and-coming artist, and he has the talent to woo my fans. My fans like their technicians. Mm -hmm. So you have to have some sort of lyrics. Mm -hmm. And he has it. And he has the show to go with it. And it, it, it was a perfect match. And he made it. He made it this far into the tour with a couple of bumps in the beginning of the tour, bumpy road. At the beginning of the tour, he made it. And people didn't think he was going to make it. People didn't think that E-40 was going to make it the whole tour on the uh independent grind tour, but he made it, you know what I mean? They didn't think Paul Wall was going to make it, or Slaughterhouse was going to make it, or, or Ill Bill was going to make it, but they all made it, you know what I'm saying? We really grind out here, man, and uh, Machine, Machine Gun Kelly, he did it, and I'm proud of him, and we made history on this tour already, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, definitely. With the amount of dates that you've done and the amount of time, that's that's insane. I mean, I was blown away by the, the 90 shows in 99 days, but then, then you one up me and you, you, you make it even bigger. So what was the deal real quick uh, about the Machine Gun Kelly getting uh, banned or, or stopped in uh, by the NYPD? Yeah. Something that happened in uh, Florida before... Before this tour started, so I hope we don't have problems in Florida with them. I hope we don't, man, because um, 
I guess something that happened with a security guard. I don't really know. I'm not really ganged up on uh, what really happened, but something happened to where uh, a security guard is suing him for uh, getting cut on the finger or something. I don't know. Right. Is it, yes, it's beyond your control. So, oh, totally. Now, the Florida dates, now with all the crazy news that's happened here lately with the zombie attacks, quote unquote, are you worried that you might get attacked by a zombie when you go to Florida? I am a zombie. Yeah? I mean, it's nothing. <laughs> you know, so I'm the zombie leader. You know what I mean? I have pictures on my phone. I said, King Zombie. You know, I just did a song with E40 and Brother Lynch on called Zombie. If you're a zombie, monster, ghoul, or faint, so nothing scares me. You know what I'm saying? If anything, they'll be at my show kicks in it instead of eating faces <laughs> that, that's all right tech now you've been great and uh real quick i have a question for you uh here in north carolina i, I know you're from kansas city and kansas city prides themselves on their barbecue have you had uh, uh north carolina barbecue yet not yet but i, I want to taste it but you know i don't think nothing's touching kansas city we win every year Thanks to Jack Stack, you know what I'm saying? Much love to Ollie Gates, you know what I mean? I grew up on it, and it's a lot of other places that really have really good food in Kansas City. I'm looking to have some barbecue. If there is truly indeed some barbecue near, I'm going to try it. Tech, you, you have been wonderful, man, and uh, best of luck on the rest of the tour. It, it was a great pleasure meeting you. Thank you, man. I was going to tell you that I'm sorry for being so rude and talking this way, but I hadn't brushed my teeth. I didn't know you were coming up at that time, so I didn't get to brush my teeth, so I'm talking this way instead of this way. Oh, you're all good. That's fine. No, I, I I never brush my teeth, so I didn't want to offend you. I'm glad, you know. Most of the time it smells like very bad in my mouth. But, Tech, thank you so much, man. It's all good. Thank you, brother.